Hello again, diecasters. So today we're going to take a look at three different uh, Toyota Mark IIs from the brand Aoshima. So these are all modified uh, JDM cars, like Bosozoku style cars. So they're not for everyone, keep that in mind. Um, statistically, I found some information, the Toyota Mark II is a mid-sized sedan from Toyota and uh, this is the fourth generation series that we're looking at that was sold between 1980 and 1984. These things came with either a 1.8 liter all the way up to a 2.4 liter engine, inline fours, inline sixes, some turbocharged, some diesels, so there's a lot of different choices. It may have been known as an, uh, a Cressida if you lived in North America or some other continents, but in Japan it was called the Mark II I guess. Alright, so that's all I got there. Um, so, the, what spurred this uh, whole video today was this, you know, I got a new one, but it's a new old stock. This is from a really old series, the Grachen 2, which I found uh, Hobby Link Japan says this came out in 2008. So this is like a 13 year old model. Uh, there's no actual date on the box itself, but uh, there was a choice of four different cars and three different colorways. And so... I got this brown and this two-tone thing, so let's take a let's take a look here. All right, so yeah, all right, there you go. Uh, blister pack like a Kyosho, but it's a little bit bigger in this card. Yeah, let's crack this thing open. Okay, plastic base again. That's similar to Kyosho. I Meaning I gotta find my screwdriver and uh, take it off here. Ooh, that's really tight. Okay, so it seems like this is a GX61 body code from 1982, so it's nice to have at least those stats there. I can't really read anything else. I'm sure it said Mark II, though. Okay, so let me get the camera down. And so what's nice is this two-tone effect. It's almost like a chase car, but I think it's just part of the regular release. You know, it's uh, first brown, and this brown, it's, uh, it's metallic of some sort. If you really look close, I think you can see some sort of speckling going on right there you go so it's a little bit metallic so but on the sides here we got this silver I suppose maybe it's champagne my photo booth is so bright I don't know if that's silver or champagne to be honest with you if I put it in the sun it might change its color but uh, you'll notice uh, the break between the brown and that color is pretty good there's no like it's not fading, it seems pretty crisp, so that's nice. And yet they still put on a silver paint here for the door handles along with the window trim. Uh, you got these mesh wheels, uh, they're undersized and that's just part of the Grachan collection way. They have really small wheels to let them sit nearly on the, the ground, right? They're really lowered. Uh, so the panel lines are not very good though, it's filled in with a lot of paint. Not very crisp. This one is a lot easier to see, but for some reason these two almost vanish because there's so much paint going on. Okay, well here we got the plastic uh, headlights, and they're kind of, well, they got some sort of molding behind the plastic, so it looks like two buckets, so that's good. We got some texture in the grill, and this painted black is part of the casting. Uh, some orange paint here for the blinkers, and that's part of the casting. The bumpers themselves are part of the casting, so it's kind of lazy, you know, it's not a separate piece like you'd find on a Konami or a Kyosho or one of the more modern brands. Okay, so, uh, yeah, pretty small blobs of mirrors and no paint on them. Uh, this side we just have the fuel filler cap, but otherwise it looks the same as the other one. Well, there's a little bit of either paint bubbling or contaminant right there, so that's a shame. Uh, yeah, continue on the top here. Seems like there might be some paint rash developing there. A little bit, yeah. Okay. No indication of windshield wiper blades, which seems to be the case with most of these uh, Aoshimas. Not all, but almost all of them have no wiper blades. So that's kind of lazy also. The black interior, there's some molded detail, but you can't really see much because of its color. And then we got the wing. Unfortunately, this wing isn't so hot. It looks like the plastic wasn't trimmed trimmed evenly. Okay, but uh, all these Aoshimas have plastic taillights as well, so that's good. There, you can really see the, the depth of the plastic, and then pretty good break between the red and the orange blinker. And then, well, that's interesting. 
trying to see. I guess this is supposed to be white or silver. In in certain lights, it changes color, right? It's like interesting. Blank license plate, and then uh, the lame exhaust tips, which is typical of uh, Hiroshima. They're just flat, but they, at least they're painted silver. Things screwed together if you want to modify the interior, but it doesn't even say what the car is, which is kind of weak. And then they seem to always have the same tires, I think. So that's about it for this review review of this car. I think it's pretty good. I mean, again, it's an old model. It's 13 years old, so I'm lucky I even found it. And uh, I'm particularly lucky I found it in this colorway. Um, I'm sure this is the most sought after one because, uh, what is it? It's either plain white or, or black where you won't see any details. So this is definitely the best colorway to go with. So let's uh, take the tray out here. These other two uh, Toyotas are Mark II's also, but they're uh, GX71's, whereas this is GX61. So I think these two are from 1984, so two years down in the future. And uh, so they definitely all seem to have different taillights. All right, you can see the difference there. Um, and for some reason, this one's taller much taller than that one okay the uh, exhaust pipes are generally in the same location this one's got this funky underwing as well going underneath the uh, exhaust tip so that's quite interesting and also this this one has like these weird vents going on in the rear panel as if it was like a space shuttle or something so really weird styling choices and the paint isn't so hot here because it's white you can see the black of the the doors Pretty nice wheels though. It's one of the few Aoshimas where there's air between the spokes. This one blanked off. It's just much cleaner design though without the wing and the weird uh, weird vent here. Okay, let's go to the front here. So, there is a front end comparison. I'm not sure what, what do you guys like the most. For me, I'm liking the one on the far left because if you look at the lights, there's like little bumps back there and some color to really show that there's different uh, light buckets and uh, color to the lamps themselves. So I'm really liking that front end on the this this left one. So is it me or does this look like a wider car? Could be an illusion. Hmm. Should I focus there? I don't know. Might be an optical illusion because it's white, you know, but uh, might be wrong. I don't know. So these two are, I think, the same body style because you can just look at the the window and door cutouts. They're pretty much identical. But this one is a little bit different. You can see the the silver stripe here in the window is vertical, whereas these are canted. So it's a that's why I guess this is called a 61, and this is a 71 body code. But I believe they're both from uh, the fourth generation of the Toyota Mark II. I might be mistaken, you know, because 1984 is like the cutoff year that Wikipedia is telling me. So it's possible that these might be the fifth generation. But, you know, I'm just working off the limited resources I'm willing to put in my, my time into researching. So I apologize. Okay, guys. Well, anyway, so I really like this whole Aoshima Gracham line. Uh... The only gripes, you know, the, the blanked off wheels usually, and there's no like actual badge printing, like there's no Toyota emblem or nothing saying Cressida or Mark II or anything like that. They're just like plain customized cars, you know. So anyways, let me put this up here. And coincidentally, look at this image. It's almost like this, they took this dude's car, some Japanese guy here, it's almost like they took this guy's car and made a model of it. It's not 100% the same though. This one has like black, you know, printing for the, the rubber molding on the side. Whereas uh, this real car, the guy shaved it off, you know, it's not there. So, and then he's got some sort of grande or something, something in his grill. So, interesting, interesting. Okay, well anyways, I guess that's it for today. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.